we can teach you how to cut hair, but we can't teach people how to be nice. So if you have a good personality, you come in, you're dressed for success, you're friendly, engaging, chances are we'll offer you um, a position and, um, put, and start training you. All right? Yep. Okay. That's the number so one thing. Is right. friendly. We want friendly personality. In our salons, um, we don't like a lot of drama. We don't like um, the stuff that you find in other places. And, and, you know, most of us are women, and, and that's, you know, that's what we're known for is the cattiness and the drama. <laughs> but we find that the salon is more successful, the people are happier, the customers are happier if we don't have that. And so we don't like to have people that stir the pot, um, that like to talk behind people's back, that like to um, sabotage other people. So for the most part, our salons, our six salons are pretty friendly. And every once in a while something, you know, we'll, we'll, we might make a mistake in hiring and we hire a pot stirrer and, and things get messed up for a little bit. But pretty much they end up not wanting to stay because we really are, we try to have more of a family environment, family atmosphere. And so if you don't like that kind of, um, if, if you don't like the, the cattiness kind of stuff, then um, you might want to think about one of our salons. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> if you do like that, if you thrive on that kind of stuff, then you probably wouldn't be happy. Um, what have I missed? Anything? Do you have any questions so far? We, we do give training. We're a little bit different than Supercuts. I know Supercuts, you have to go through their training for a couple weeks before they put you in. Our training center, because Great Clips doesn't have a lot of salons in Los Angeles, our training center is in Corona. And so it's just not, we can't send people to, they wouldn't come. They, you, we have to send you to Corona to be trained and then come back and people wouldn't do it. So what we do is we, um, if, if you come and you're dressed for success, you have a strong personality, you're very engaging, you talk to people, um, and you know, we have a good sense, then we will, we will offer you a, a training program and, and train you on clipper cuts. But the, best, but the best candidates are the ones that have practiced their clipper cuts before they even come to us. I know you don't, you want, you're not going to leave here with your license knowing clipper cuts. And so it's really on you guys, really. Yeah. Do we need to make it more formal to apply for you? No. We'll ask you to do a technical. And the technical will be a clipper cut and we'll time it. And if it's, if it's long, we may ask you to go practice for a couple weeks and come back. If it's like within the range of 20, 30 minutes and, and everything else is there, we'll probably offer you a few hours of training. How do you guys pay? It's, we always start at minimum wage, and minimum wage is going up, so let's come and watch. We always, we'll, we're always open to have you guys come and watch us. Um, and we've had some success with people going on Craigslist and... Um, Offering free haircuts, and then you can meet them at our salon and practice on them in our salon, so that way it's more safe than coming to your house, kind of yeah. thing. Um, if you are, if you're tenacious and you're willing to do it, you can do it. We had one girl who came to us just out of beauty school. She moved here from Sacramento. She knew no one, had no one. She didn't even have someone to do the technical one. Um, but she had everything else. She was put together. She was so friendly, so engaging, but just no experience. Um, and so we gave her ten hours of training. And at the end of the 10 hours of training, Alicia evaluated her and she said, I sent her home. I said, <laughs> I was so mad. I sent her home. She said, she needed to practice for two weeks. I thought we would never see this girl again. I told her, go practice for two weeks and then come back. And I'm like, I just put all this money in her and she sent her home. Well, so the girl called in two weeks and she'd been on YouTube every single day. She was studying, 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 and she came back in two weeks to the technical and it was like night and day. We hired her. And that's only been, what, six months? Not, maybe not, not even, even not even six months, and she already has a full time schedule. She's one of our best performers. She's just she's a star. So she put the time into it. On the other hand, we've had other people who say, "Oh yeah, 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 I'll put the time into it," and they don't, and we never see them again. And it's kind of like if any of you played a musical instrument, an instrument, or you've taken lessons, and your teacher knows if you didn't practice that week. <laughs> you know, you you go and you haven't practiced that week. They know. They don't waste my time because you haven't practiced. And it's the same thing. It's all practice. Um, I think, well, when she was talking about minimum wage, um, it is um, minimum, but you do get um, tips. tips, and on your product percent, um, you'll get money back um, for a product that you sell, and also productivity, so the busier you are, um, you'll eventually get there, and you'll make um, a higher um, hourly wage. That's true. We also keep track of our customers that come in, and if your customers come back, then they don't have to even come back to you. They just have to come back to the salon. You get a bonus for that too. So, so if you if fifty four percent of your customers come back, you get an extra dollar an hour that week. So there is well, a lot of our people make over twenty dollars an hour. 
just just because they're busy and and um, and then tips are better in some salons other than more than others. Um, and <laughs> everyone knows that in the Gora Hills, it's just I don't even talk about. It. I don't get tips. I don't even know. But I can go to any of my other salons, and everyone will say, "Well, Agora has the best tips." It's just the reputation for Agora Hills. They get those salon, those salons get the best tips. Um, so geographically, that makes a difference too. However, um, in some of our other areas, like Canyon Country, they you know they make a lot in tips because they have more. They're a little bit busier. So um, Valencia too. Valencia is a powerhouse salon. That one is. I, I I'm trying to get them to expand their hours. They're so busy. Um, so they don't make as much in tips per person as Agora Hills, but they leave with a pocket full of money at the end of the day. So it's low if everyone works together and brings the customers back. What's our number one job? To get the customers to come back. <laughs> it's a number, I mean, my husband will go around to all the salons and say, what's your number one job? And they better say that. <laughs> get that customer to come back. Did I miss anything? Okay. Uh, would you say they have to have a resume to come and apply? No, I don't know. Just dress. Yeah. Dress for success. Yeah. There is an application online. You can you can apply online. When you do apply online, it goes to all of the great clips in the market. And so if you have one specific great clips, it'll it'll ask you which one. So say I'll give them an application for Agora Hills. You may get a, if I don't see it right away, you may get a call from a different franchisee. For example, I don't own the one in in Woodland Hills. So I own West Hills, but I don't own Woodland Hills. And so when I when I see applications for Woodland Hills and I need somebody, I might call them. <laughs> and, and I make it clear that I'm not the one that they apply to. But the same thing goes for them. If, if someone applies to West Hills and that's what you want is you want to work for our organization, then you would apply for West Hills. Woodland Hills may call you first. And that's, that's a good thing. If you're looking for a job, you have all these people looking at your application. There's, there's two Facebook groups for Great Clips that you can be on right now. So if you have, um, later on, you can turn on your phone and, and uh, um, go to Facebook. One of them is called The Clip Artist, and the other one is called Great Clips Careers. And so if you like both of those pages, um, it'll give you lots of lots of tips. There's lots of um, career advice on the one. The Clip Artist has more trendy things going on. So you might want to um, like it and just try it out. You can always dislike it later on, but that's just a good way to kind of um, stay in touch with a few things. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, about their backgrounds. We should have done that at the very beginning. Um, both Monique and Alicia worked yes, in full service I just before coming to Great Clips. And so really I wanted them to spend just a couple minutes to let you guys know why they chose Great Clips. So you want to start? Um, my personal reason, um, I did the full service and I was basically just getting tired of doing the chemical services and I just kind of wanted to do something different and didn't want to deal with buying my my color and um, you know doing things like that I just wanted to go into work and do haircuts and go home that was my first you know reason why and then I started working with great clips and it's it's a, a faster pace salon so going from my full service spending two plus hours with you know one client I will see up to 25 clients a day working with Great Clips. Um, so it's just, it was just a personal choice. I, I just like it better. I do haircuts and blow dries, and that's just my favorite thing to do um, now. I don't have to worry about um, the chemical services, and it's, um, I don't know, it's just something that I enjoy. Oh, but you worked at lots of different places. Oh yeah, I <laughs> I started out full service and then I moved from the Bay Area to the Southern California area and went to Supercuts originally just because you have to start over. You know that clientele is not going to follow you. Um, stayed there. It was a different experience, but it was nice to teach you like some speed. Uh, and then I had my second son. Took a year off and was looking for something. Again, but I, I don't really want to do color at this point, unless it's something I feel like doing, which is at home usually ruining my bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to do one thing, you know, just something simple, easy, and not necessarily easy. I've definitely had some challenges along the way, but it's nice. It's streamlined. It keeps it focused, and I think that's where the beauty industry is really going. That's why there's color bars. There's low blow up bars, you know. Um, it's all about convenience now. And I really like Great Clips. It's nice to just go in and it is very family oriented. 
you don't feel like a number. You know, so. It's fun. I don't know. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. You get to play with hair all day. Like there are worse things you could be doing. You know. Any questions about that? Yes. So neither of you feel like you're losing out, just like the price tags on like services in a salon or so what you know, you're doing there. Like you don't feel like you're losing out on a lot of income. You know, if I didn't have a family at home, I didn't have a problem before when it was either just me or just my one son because you spend a lot of hours in salon and it is like it is backbreaking work you know like there's days where you're doing color corrections and that's all you're doing the entire day but I'm at the point now where I want something that's a little bit more flexible there's a little bit more balance so it's good if you have a family you know and you can always explore other options outside like when I need my creative outlet it's usually myself or a friend or you know, just whoever wants to do something at my house. And being in management or, and even not, sometimes there are classes that um, they offer in different, um, is it like product classes, and they'll they'll do a demo um, doing certain haircuts, whatever's in style at the time. Did we go to this last one for? Oh, the sexy hair class? Sexy hair. They did, um, they did a haircut uh, demo, and then the one before. Was it wall. Oh yeah, we're going to a wall um, clipper clipper class. So things like that, they have those all the time that we attend. Um, were you making more money when you were doing full service? Um, you know what? Well, honestly, what well, it's not a big difference. It really isn't um, because, like I said, I'm doing 25 haircuts. So it's you know with that amount of tips and product sales that you're doing. Um, not a big difference, and it's easier on myself. And you guys are like flexible in the towels, right? So they do want to work full time, or oh, yeah, full -time? definitely. We try to work around, we, we're kind of we got ourselves in a little rut in Agora Hills where no one wants to work Tuesdays, and so now we really need someone to work Tuesdays and Saturdays because. We got we did too much of that, you know. So what we the way we do it is if you if you're full time flexible, if you can work any hours of the day, you don't care what days off you have, and your days off will vary. You will get first choice of hours. That's that's the least we can do, right? Um, and then any anyone who has restrictions will get whatever's left, and usually they get what they want. I mean, I I can't I count on one hand the number of times I've had to tell somebody no in the last five years. I, we bend over backwards to give people what they want and to make it work for you. Um, but if anyone has a license to work on Tuesdays, Monique is hiring. <laughs> we do a lot of teamwork. So say, say um, one person's finishing a haircut and they're checking somebody out. A, a, a team player would be the one to sweep up that person's hair. So someone who's not a team player is just going to sit there and watch her do all the work. <laughs> you know? So we want if we're we're more effective when we're all team players. Just find something to do. Most of our salons are open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. In Valencia, they're open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. However, Great Clips is taking that away from us, and they want all the salons to be open till 9, so that may change pretty soon. And weekends, we close at, well, Saturday, we close at 7, and then 6 o'clock on Sunday. Hmm. Most of our new customers come on the weekends, so when people say they're restricted, they don't want to work a lot of weekend days, or they just want one weekend day, you're missing out on a lot of new customers, and you're potentially missing out on new customer return bonuses because most new customers will try us on the weekends the return um, and that's another reason why I like great clips and, and where I'm at um, they track your returns so everything that goes in the computer um, all the um, clients are input there so when she said that they return to the salon they don't necessarily have to return to you they just come back to the salon and see whoever um, that return number goes to you so you know how you're doing we know how you're doing and that is a great thing that I liked when I first started out to see what I needed to work on. Um, and we, we go over your um, monthly connections and we talk about what you think needs to be worked on and I let you know what you're doing great at and it's just um, nice feedback. If we see, for example, we have one stylist right now, the sweetest girl, just so nice, just we um, can't figure out what's going on. Her, Return numbers are like in the 17, 18 range, so it means like 83% of our customers are not coming back. And we're trying, right, so that number is helpful because it lets us know 
okay, we need to figure out what's wrong here. You know, um, is it, does she need to polish up some of her skills? We know it's not personality. She's, she's just so sweet. Um, so it helps us to, to zone in and figure out and be able to help her. So it's not like you're not going to get fired when you see 17% new customer return. You're gonna, we're going to help you to grow as an artist and figure that out. Unless you're not nice. If, if, they're, not, <laughs> if they're not coming back because you're not nice, then it's not worth their time. <laughs> That's a different conversation. Yeah. <laughs>